Why are we so addicted to true crime? Seriously. That's true. Can't get enough of it. Dark Poutine is the famous Canadian podcast that averages half a million listeners per month, detailing crimes in Canada, dark history, and other creepy topics as told by Canadians. Host Mike Brown joins us this morning to tell us about his new book, Murder, Madness, and Mayhem, and to share why he thinks the world is fascinated with true crime. Mike, good morning. Welcome to the show. Good morning. I'm Mike, so glad to be here. <laughs> congrats on the podcast. It's hugely popular. Congrats on the book. You just uh, you. launched this uh, last week, November 2nd. I got to ask right. you first things first about the name, Dark Poutine. My theory <laughs> is you named it that. Sid said it's a great name. You'll never forget it. True. It's true. Also, is it something to do with its dark subject matter, but it's something that once you start, you can't stop like poutine? Huh? Yes, that is actually pretty close to the right answer. Oh, pretty close. That's and nice. uh, because most of our stories are Canadian um, and have a Canadian flavor, I wanted to have the most Canadian thing that I could think of. So it was dark poutine. Nice. There you go. You got 85% of the way there, D. Why is there yeah. such an appetite for dark poutine? Mm, mm. Deliciously <laughs> intriguing. Uh, well, Mike, oh, sorry, go ahead. Uh, it's the reason, <laughs> sort of the way I described it to somebody else is um, the fries are the are the the heavy part of the story, and the gravy really sort of lays it on thick. But um, my co-host and I do a little bit of fun on either end, which is the cheese. Mm -hmm. There you go. <laughs> I know. I know what that's about. The card is the word. <laughs> yes, um, Mike. Let's talk about you and and this subject matter specifically. How, sure. how did you get so, I don't know if wrapped up is the right way to describe it, but you, this has, you, you, have, you have immersed yourself in this topic for a while now. Where did, where did the fascination begin? Well, uh, at home where I grew up in Nova Scotia, my grandmother was a fan of the Nova Scotian journalist Max Haynes, and uh, he wrote true crime stories in the newspaper every week. And so I read some articles at her home and began looking forward to the new ones as they came out. And around the same time, when I was uh, almost 12, a man assaulted and attempted to abduct me. Oh um, shortly after that, a serial killer, Clifford Olson, was arrested in BC, and his victims were around my age. So having gone through what I did, I became hooked on learning about crime and criminals and uh, have been ever since. I even considered becoming an RCMP officer at one point, but... Uh, thanks to what I'd been through, I had a lot of personal things to deal with, so that never materialized. That's terrifying, Mike. I guess it's one of those things where you either take your experience and it makes you never want to look at it again, or in a way, it's almost empowering and protects you if you feel more aware. It's, it's like a fascination maybe to help people feel prepared? Sure. It, it, uh, it took me a long time to get to that place, oh, but no. doing the show has actually helped me in a lot of ways. And I told my own story in episode 10 of the show, and I've gotten so much great feedback that uh, now uh, I've done twice two seminars for, our, or for Edmonton police officers who are attending sexual assault seminars, and I tell my story there. Um, Mike, in terms of the content in the book, Murder, Madness, and Mayhem, I mean, I'm fascinated by the notion that you have a podcast that's this popular. Mm -hmm. Yet you, you felt you had other material where you could, you could kind of put together and put it out there for people. Like, how, how did you decide, like, what goes in the pod and what goes in the book? Well, it was kind of easy because the stories that I do on the podcast have the mostly Canadian flavor. So there's a few of those in the book, but I do what's called away games, which are stories that aren't related to Canada, so I will tag them in the podcast as away games. So most of these are away games that I, I would have gotten to eventually on the show. Mike, where do we hear more? Where do we read more? Where do we go? Because we could talk to you all day, but we have <laughs> run out of time. So where well, do we yeah. listen? Um, you can hear us anywhere that you find your podcast, iTunes, uh, Spotify, anywhere like that. And uh, I also do a new podcast called Supernatural Circumstances with my friend Morgan, who's a uh, paranormal researcher. So you want to check that out. Yeah, I'm a busy guy. Mike, what do you do for fun, man? Oh, my gosh. It's like murder, mayhem, supernatural. 
Uh, well, I watch Little House on the Prairie. Oh, <laughs> That's my release, too. Nice. We have similar releases. Uh, uh, one of the most popular wow. podcasts around, a new book, another pod coming. Mike, you figured it out. Congratulations Thanks. on all the success. Let's, uh, let's touch base again. Have a good day. Thank you.